So we've done downtown before, but now we've taken you guys to the, what's known as the Arts District. So basically just a little bit south of Charleston, west of Las Vegas Boulevard, named by Time Out New York, number one downtown in the US. So we're gonna hit up one of our favorite spots. Usually we come here for dinner. We haven't hit it up for lunch yet. Esther's Kitchen, small, local, Las Vegas born chef, native, like yourself. We don't get many of them around here. Born and raised, but <laughs> let's go check it out. Let's do it. <laughs> Say what's up to the camera. Hi. <laughs> Give this kid man a hug. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. What are you doing, gorgeous woman? Where'd you get anything delicious? Anything I should try? Meatballs? Yeah. Boo! Yeah. What, from Masters? Yeah. That's where we're going right now. Nice. All right, I'm going to check it out. All right, I love you. you. Love you. Chicken parm sandwich. <laughs> now See you later. Bye. Bye. Now you're speaking in my language. <laughs> Is he stealing my cauliflower? Oh, that's pretty good. Is it? It tastes like Chinese food. Yeah. I love Chinese food. And women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's good. Oh, it is spicy. You try this, Mikey? Yeah. It's not that bad, it's spicy, but it's got a kick. They've been a little spicy. So, you know, like we all know this? This is something that's funny. What'd you say? This side. So this is their fr lightly fried cauliflower appetizer. So he said they just bread it very lightly, boom, quick flash fry in and out. So it's not super heavy, like oily. And they top it with 
chives, chili, and uh, it's off the hook. Yeah, it's definitely got a, uh, a Chinese feel to it. Oh, really good. That's how you make people eat their vegetables. <laughs> Just fry it. Wow. Right? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I really got a little cheese. Hey, my man. This is awesome. Off the hook, dude. Just like Chinese food. There's yeah, a whole kind of a, It is kind of a play on that, too, so yeah. Um, it, it's one of those things you can smell it before you even come Yeah, as soon as you brought it up, I'm like, I know I'm going to like this. Yeah, exactly. That's like him. First time I met him. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Matt, please have another drink. Same? Uh, yeah. How you guys doing with your drinks? Yeah. Well, well, we some Whenever you're ready. Same right. amount of splendors, too? Uh, no, I only need one spoon of this. Okay. No, I don't want to try that at all. I got a big chunk of pepper. So, cacio de pepe. So traditionally in the restaurant, they make it in the, the big cheese wheel. They bring it yeah. to your table. What do you think? So good, right? Mm. The spicy sausage is what really takes it off. So basically, you, I like what they're doing, but when I put my own little touch on it, then I really like it. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for it, but... We should go to more restaurants around here and you could help them. Off menu? Yeah. I'll help you out. Uh, you like, I like what you're doing, but... That's good. I like the, the pepper. Yeah. Pepper's a good spice because uh, it comes and goes quick. Yeah. It doesn't linger like an ex-wife. <laughs> I have a lot of ex-wives. <laughs> yeah, dip. we're gonna go to the dip, dippity, a dippity doo dah, dippity day. <laughs> dip it in that liquid mm. jus. You know, Ryan would love this. So he said, they take the pork shoulder that they sell at night, whatever the, whatever's left. You gotta make sure you so they take the pork shoulder at night on the dinner service, so whatever they don't uh, finish selling off at night, they slice it on the slicer in the morning, boom, pork sandwiches. And they brought the rob, I'm going to dip it in this super juice. <laughs> I'll go off the hook. Let me get this side right here. Hold on. <laughs> Give that him. Oh, sorry. Wait. Did he order another one of these weird yeah. things? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy boy. <laughs> Boom. He's got a little something too. He's a little low on his. Uh, yeah. He, well, he's a child. <laughs> Did you want to get some, sir? Yeah, I'm gonna get something. Oh, okay. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> you know you're gonna have to talk about it. Why do you take the biggest bite ever? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. It's so good. We're gonna go eat some food and review it. Okay. Take a small bite. Okay, I will. Oh my god, this looks good. Let me shove it all in my mouth. <laughs> Every time. It's delicious. Oh my god, it smells it's delicious. so good. Boom. This is your favorite on the menu, right? It's super good. <laughs> Mushrooms, garlic, spinach. I'll get this one out of our way. Enjoy. Boom, here we go. Whoa! Yeah, go ahead and get it done. Oh, oh super mushroom. Smell that. Wow. It smells good. It smells really good. Oh. Super, super mushroom. You're gonna love it. I haven't even tried it, but I know I'm gonna love it. Who's your favorite? Give me a bite. We can take a whole take a slice. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's not even gonna share. That's how you know it's good. He's not gonna share. <laughs> this is a good one. Is it delicious? Compare it to uh, North Italian. Oh, this is definitely it's got a little more funk on it. Yeah. Funk? Yeah. The mushrooms. It's got it's got two different kinds of mushrooms on there. I like funk. <laughs> I think you guys are talking about different kinds of funk. <laughs> it feels, feels good. Funk. It feels, feels good. Come on, motherfucker. Cheers. Cheers me. Ooh, you're gonna like it. Well, it's got like an onion, an onion sauce too. Really good. Why don't you do something 
stepped Mike, away from the traditional margarita pizza. Definitely interesting pizza. This is this is ridiculous. This is so good. <laughs> no wonder why everyone loves this place. Oh my god. Everything we had is look, Mikey can't even speak. <laughs> Get your appetite working. That's what you ordered? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a whole glass of uh, <laughs> a chalice. Is this the first man that's ever ordered this drink? Many men. Many <laughs> men? Yeah, many men. <laughs> that's like the 50 Cent song. Many men. Party. It's called an Aperol Spritz. Put a lot of hey. them in <laughs> That's a big old. It's a money saver right there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a little bitch with my drink. Me and Ryan went to, um, when, when, when Amy, they were in LA, we, uh, the movie premiere thing he got. So we went in, they we went in on like Wednesday, we met it in on the weekend, stayed at the Dream Hotel. And it was kind of like it was like weather now. So we were the only people on, on the roof. But it was nice. We were in the pool just hanging out. So we could order a bottle of rose, me, Ryan, and Lorena drinking that. Amy gets a. Uh, one skinny <laughs> mojito, which she drinks that much. We drank three bottles of rose. <laughs> then me and Ryan she'd go to the pool and then drink Aperol spritzes. Again, we're the only people in there. So like once they got down to here, the girl's like, oh, do you want another one? Fine. After, <laughs> after like six times, we just kept bringing them, kept bringing them. We get ready to go to dinner. Get the bill, Ryan's like, I just charge it to the room. Charge the room, we meet for dinner. Ryan goes, by the way, Bill wants for drinks. $850. <laughs> the April <laughs> like 20, 20 bucks a piece. <laughs> $850 for the bar bill. I'm gonna go, that's cheap when you come out with me. <laughs> but it's great. Well, the rich never offered a pay in the well, the last time we were at a, a rooftop pool at the W, you guys ordered the uh, Nebuchadnezzar of, uh, of food. They probably never, probably never ever sold one of the Marched it around the whole place. They thought it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I think when the bill was fourteen thousand for the bottle, yeah, we, I think it was like I'll do it. I think you got it for nine or eleven. I like, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for eleven. Done. Yeah. No one had ever ordered the Nebuchadnezzar's. Let's. We're gonna drop a picture of us at the uh, at the w. at the W. w yeah. <laughs> no one had ever ordered these before. What is a Nebuchadnezzar? Oh my God. <laughs> A bottle of champagne about Just this big size. So you have the regular, then you have a magnum, then you have a Jeroboam, Jeroboam, Jeroboam. then you have something else, and then you have uh, the Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. It's just a the... barrel. Of... It's a gigantic. We're gonna drop it in. You're gonna see it. Look, the bottle was so big. She, the girl, she couldn't even open. She couldn't open. It was, I swear, it was from the floor to here. That, that's all. Also, it turned out that she was a porn star that was famous for having sex on parking lot roofs. And and we didn't find that out till later. Very niche. <laughs> but there's gotta be someone who's best at everything. <laughs> I, that's the key, dude. Like they say that in real estate too. You wanna really specialize in something. You <laughs> wanna specialize in something. Got roofs. <laughs> Not just roofs, parking garages. <laughs> something. It's something. I wish that the four of us were friends. Wait, wait, now, okay, so hold on. We got a, we got a big, oh, Mikey, grab this over here. All right, hold on. We, out of all these things. All right, so check. So, <laughs> Check this out, boys and girls. We just ran into guest superstars, Las Vegas in the house. We got a baker right here. She's making cookies. Hi, Pop Tarts, cupcakes, and cakes. Wait, hold on. My name is Lorena. I'm 
my name is Lamia Lee. You can find for Bake Steak on Instagram. Website is still in the works. Um, I make pop tarts, cookies, cakes, um, cupcakes, and a bunch of other goodies. Cookie company? Okay, is everyone that you know is good looking as all of you people? Mikey, get how good looking all them are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And hold on, and you are doing a non-profit? Yes. Yeah, I work in non-profit. Okay, give us a scoop on this. Um, I work for a youth advocacy program. It's uh, basically a mentorship program for adjudicated youth. So youth that have been through the criminal justice system, they're on probation, and uh, they get sent to us to keep them straight. <laughs> okay, now what are we dealing with over here? Medical sales. <laughs> Everyone over here is talented. We just sat over here to get some cauliflower we pizza. Get yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need friends like this. Okay, I don't even know. But here's what I'm gonna say: support these people. Okay, we're gonna drop all the links down. We're gonna do it all. This is meeting new people, going out. This is the best of the best. That's why we're doing this. I love you. Yeah. Just to be clear, this is a non-promotional thing. This we came here off the cuff, and it happened to be off the hook. <laughs> That's why this place is so good. Because they change the menu so much, it's always like your first time at a great restaurant. Boom! So that was Esther's Kitchen, dude. Totally dominated the lunch there. Uh, my item that I loved the best was uh, the cacio de pepe. So basically just, uh, you know, the pasta with fresh grated parmesan reginato. Ask for <laughs> to make it with spicy sausage. They'll know Mikey. <laughs> I like the uh, spicy cauliflower was off the hook. Also keeps us skinny. And then the uh, the mushroom pizza was ridiculous. Yeah, then we finish it off with a pork shoulder, a braised pork shoulder sandwich with a dipping au jus sauce. You have to try that. Awesome. Esther's Kitchen, go there, check it out. Do it! All right, so he and I just left Esther's Kitchen. We we're about to walk to the car with Mikey the cameraman, and we saw a brand new sushi place, You or Me Sushi, in the Arts District. You know we love sushi, so we gotta check it out. We did check it out. Chris, tell us what we had. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> People love sushi. This place has been open one month. We went in. I, the menu's insane. Sushi, hot items. We did a mixture of nigiri and sashimi dishes. The best you love, the uh, ikura, the, the, the salmon, salmon roe. Awesome. And then for dessert, we finished it off with a little um, freshwater eel, unagi. But my biggest uh, takeaway, New Zealand lamb chops. And it's a small little order, so you can get sushi and get meat at the same time. Three lamb chops in an order. You gotta check this one out. I'll tell you what, also, the owners were fantastic. The staff was awesome. I say, you you have to go check it out. Oh, and go for the super cool cocktails. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know we drank. If you're in downtown Vegas, in fact, if you're in Vegas in general, you have to come here and check this out because this is the spot right here. Wait till you see these lamb chops and this fish and these drinks, you're gonna have a breakdown. I like the two camera situation. Awesome. This is one of the best ones I have. Can we have one more of these? One more plate? Yeah. You're down with that, right? Damn, that was good. You want to try a ball? Come on, just give it. Try it, Mikey. No, Try it, Mikey. No, Try it. No, give him one, just give him one bite. Son of a bitch. Do it, Mikey. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, Let it burst. First it's, delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. It's disgusting. Yeah, like it's delicious. Fish. How do people eat that? I love it. We just ordered two more. That's how good it is here. That is spicy. That is spicy. <laughs> Delicious.
<laughs> wow, Rich. I know people have thought you're an animal before, but well, you're an animal. I am an animal. Oh my god, he's dipping it right in there. Is there anything else we can put on this? Oh my god, it just poured out of your mouth when you did that. That was good. That was a good shot. So, perfect. New Zealand lamb chops. So many places you can't go and just get a little dish of lamb. This is the best. Mmm. Perfect. Delicious. Probably the time was just good. A couple little bites. It was really good. Everything we had there was delicious. Everything we have here is delicious. I, I, I'm kind of like losing my mind a little bit. I love lamb. I'm concerned about the level of uh, volume of the music here. Yeah, me too. So what are you thinking? So what the hell are we gonna get? 